Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use scan functional in VASP. So scan stands for strongly constrained and appropriately normed functional, and it is one member of the meta GGA functional family. It is relatively newly constructed. Um, it was uh, invented in 2015, and it has been shown to be superior to PBE GGA for many molecular tests and solid tests. The mean absolute error for scan are smaller than those for PBE by a factor of 3 to 4 for the binding energy, automization energy for a set of molecule, and also for the lattice constant for solids. So this is a, a very accurate functional and is usually comparable or even more accurate than computationally more expensive hybrid GGA. Yeah? So it's a new functional that uh, you could give a try to your system because it is usually more precise. So basically there are two ways of using scan. One is to use the bare scan functional. It has been shown that scan covers the intermediate Van der Waals interaction in the bare functional. And the second way would be to combine scan with RVV10, which adds the long range and Van der Waals interaction to it. Yeah? To use scan functional, you need to specify meta GGA equals scan in the in car. And then it's also recommended to add these two lines to um, increase precision for meta GGA functionals generally, and also for GGA functionals if you want. For the pseudopotential, because VASP does not have pseudopotentials for meta GGA, usually using PBE pseudopotential gives good result for scan as well. One thing to make sure is that in Podcar, it should contain the following lines. You could refer to VASP wiki, just run this line of code, and then it should uh, give the following lines. The reason is that a meta GGA needs kinetic energy density of the core electrons. Yeah? So make sure that for all of the elements that you are using, the pseudopotential file contains those lines. If you want to further include long-range Van der Waals interaction, you need to add those two lines further to the in-car to turn on the RVV10 addition. So here I only want to show you the bare scan functional. The system that I will be demonstrating is basically a water hexamer. The reason is that water clusters as well as ice present a challenge for semi-local and uh, hybrid density functionals because intermediate Van der Waals interaction is quite important in the formation of those clusters. And the most notorious examples are water hexamers, basically six water molecules combined by Van der Waals interaction. And there are four low energy configurations, prism, cage, book, and another one is cyclic that I didn't show here. For details, please go to this article and they have detailed calculation on this. Different computation methods give different energy ranking of those three phases. Today we are going to use scan functional to calculate the total energy of those three and compare them. The first calculation that I'm going to show is this prism structure. And you can see that this is there are three water molecules on the bottom, three molecules on the top. And this is analogous to the prism that we usually see. Yeah? So I have already constructed the in-car file, k-points, post-car, and port-car, and those four input files for the calculation. Let's take a look at the in-car file. Uh, smearing is Gaussian smearing. We disable a real space algorithm because we want to be more precise. And this is energy uh, conversion threshold, maximum number of electronic steps, everything normal, only a self-consistency calculation, no relaxation. The last three lines are basically what I wrote here, that we turn on scan functional for the calculation. So that's basically it for the K point because it is uh, basically molecule in a box. We only need gamma point calculation. And later we will also only use the gamma point command for VASP. Then the postcard. I get the, the atomic positions from the literature and then I did the relaxation first so that this is the relaxed structure and we can uh, actually visualize that. With Vesta and we open uh, this one. It's a molecule in the box so we have to shift that a little bit to connect all those six molecules. So boundary minus 2.5, 2 
shift everything by half a box and now everything is plotted together um, it is not easy to plot hydrogen bound investor but you basically see that on the left hand side there are three molecules on the right hand side there are three molecules so it's a prism that is rotated 90 degrees to the horizontal direction yeah okay now we can start the calculation go to the folder and then um, mpi run we use six cores and uh, VASP gamma so this is a gamma point calculation which should be a, a little bit faster than the standard calculation. Uh, this is gonna take a while because this is matter GGA is a little bit more expensive than usual GGA, yeah? But still, this is much faster than hybrid functionals and it's, uh, it's very precise. So we just wait a little bit. Maybe I pull this into the foreground. Okay, so now this is finished. We clear the screen. We could go to the out car and in the end use this energy here. Yeah? It's in the unit of electron volt. So we copy it here. Um, now basically for cage and book structure, the calculation is the same. I will post the input files in my GitHub so you can take a look at that, but I will not do the calculation now. Yeah, I will just paste the result here. Now it's done. So this line is the total energy and this line is the energy difference with respect to the prism structure in the unit of milli electron volt per water molecule. So it's divided by six. And then you see that the prism has the lowest total energy, which makes it the most stable. So the prediction by scan is that prism is most stable and this is in agreement with high level wave function methods, for example, CCSDT. Actually, PBE and PBE0 gives opposite trend where prism is the most unstable one, so they do it wrong. Here, what we learn is that scan functional is good for this uh, intermediate van der Waals interaction and it does better than PBE and even PBE0. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how to do calculation using scan functional in VASP. And I've shown you the calculation of the prism structure of water hexamer. And I've shown that prism structure is the most stable structure in, um, in water hexamer that is in agreement with higher level wave function theory, which demonstrate that scan is a very precise method. Okay, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.